If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the Football Hourly YouTube channel and hit the bell notification so that you never miss another episode. So Chelsea coming to this encounter in some inconsistent form in the league, but off the back of a fantastic FA Cup win against Liverpool midweek. Uh, a great 2-0 win, Barkley with a, a great performance and a fantastic goal. And as Everton start the game, Chelsea looking for revenge uh, after that 3-1 win in the reverse fixture early in the season. You know, a, a nice little ball in here and Mount early on, who started the game absolutely fantastically. Great save from Pickford. Uh, in the first sort of 10 minutes, you really felt that Mount was going to be getting into the game uh, and, and certainly looking to get on the score sheet as you can see here early on Ancelotti the former Chelsea manager um, you know Everton they started okay to be fair and um, got the ball into the box there Kepper you know fairly commanding um, in that game as well as a Liverpool game and Gilmore pull, pulling the strings all day puts the ball out to Mount he gives the ball to Pedro on the left wing dances past a couple of players puts it into Mount who first time rifles a shot into the bottom left hand corner as you can see from this replay great angle there of the shot and you know Chelsea say it was a fairly even 10 minutes I mean they did start really really bright you know the Chelsea players pretty happy there really good clearing the ball out to Gilmore who as I said earlier fantastic all day picking the ball up intercepting putting the ball through puts this one to Barkley here who you know rifles a shot <laughs> quite a bit over the crossbar but he did have a very good game as well a couple of assists to his name um, ball coming in here from that player Barkley to Pedro one on one bottom corner great little celebration there and could this be the last goal from Pedro in a Chelsea shirt do you know question marks whether the season will resume? You know, William there celebrating another player that could possibly be leaving at the end of his Chelsea contract. And Everton, fairly stunned to be honest. You know, Chelsea started really well in this game, 2 0 up within 20 odd minutes. Um, and was their way back into this game for Everton at any point? It would be up to Chelsea for, in my opinion, for letting them back in. Because the way we started and the way we played, you know, Alonso giving a little pat there to Pedro, the goal scorer. Um, you know, we, we just looked really good, we looked really fluid. Um, but but that, that thing I said about letting them in, Zuma, bad little mistake there. Richardson puts it through to Dominic Calvert-Lewin. He luckily fluffs his shot wide. Pretty poor defending between Zuma and Rudiger there. But luckily Chelsea escape. If it had been a goal there, it would have been a completely different game. Cross in from Aspilicueta and Pickford does manage to, to grab that one there. But, you know, really happy I'm sure Lampard was um, with the start of this game. Uh, Mount stands over a free kick here. Puts the ball in the box. Pickford once again claiming the ball fairly comfortably. But it was, you know, another chance here from Alonso. Little little ball into Pedro here, who was fantastic all game. He puts a ball in and just escapes the foot of Olivier Giroud, uh, which would have been, um, you know, 3 0 before half time. But we go in, um, you know, at half time with the, the 2 0 um, lead. And Chelsea, you know, clearly the better of the two. And, you know, I was at this game and I was really confident we could go on and hit three, four, five goals. And as Chelsea came out for the second half, as you can see here, really confident that um, we would get the goals to, to make this much more comfortable, which at times this season we haven't had. Um, some pictures here of, you know, more build-up play from Chelsea. Ball out to Barkley. William takes a touch. Bottom corner 3-0. And, you know, both starts to the half were fantastic from Chelsea. An early goal in the first, an early goal in the second. And like I said for Pedro earlier, could this be Williams' last goal in a Chelsea shirt? Great sliding celebration. All the Chelsea players come over to celebrate. And at 3-0, it was game over for me. There was no way back into it for Everton. Obviously, the Dominic Calvert-Lewin chance they missed in the first half because of the Chelsea defensive errors. For me, there was no way back. And it was all about how many goals can we score uh, we looked so good. We looked in such control. And it was kind of the, the puzzle that, that Lampard's had all season. Finally, some of the jigsaw being put together here um, by Chelsea. And Pedro, once again, dives through, puts it into the box and just deflected over there. Uh, but, you know, he could easily have had a hat-trick on another day. He was, you know, great in front of goal, very creative. But him and William also fantastically defensively as well. Short corner here, and Olivier Giroud at the back post for a great little tap in there. Lovely celebration, love the passion, and you know, rumours um, of his one-year 
deal coming from Chelsea yet to confirm it but a lot of sources say it's done and I'll be one of the people that will be very happy if that is the case because he can bring a, a, certainly a, an extra dimension to this Chelsea team. Now, as you can see 4-0 up is about 40, 50, well, 50 minutes in roughly. Um, you know, Well worked set piece from Chelsea there and Giroud sneaking in at the back post to, to score the fourth goal. And you know, I've said about last goals, is this his last one? I sincerely hope not, as I said, with the one-year deal. You know, Drew, nice play again, and William takes on the Everton defender, puts the ball into the box, just missed by Barkley, and Pedro with a fantastic shot, but also a fantastic save by Jordan Pickford to keep the score at 4-0. As I said earlier, could have had a hat-trick on another day, but Jordan Pitford managing to keep it 2-4-0 to the Chelsea. Everton really on the rocks here, and, and Barkley with a fantastic ball in. Um, kind of a cross shot, I would say, but well saved by Jordan Pickford. A mount who was fantastic all game, you know, picked up a slight niggly injury, and it gave a chance for Reece James to come on and have his first chance in the Chelsea midfield. Barkley picking the ball up here, driving at the defence. Lovely ball into Gilmore, who just seemed to be everywhere on that day. And out for a goal kick, or sorry, for a corner kick here by the Everton players. And once again, you know, Gilmore really showing his maturity in these games. Pedro, nice little ball out on the wing to that man again, Ross Barkley, who has a shot against his former club. Yet again, Pickford saves. Debut here for Andurin. Coming on for Willian, it was great to see the youngster make his Premier League debut. And I'm sure next season, if he signs a new contract, we'll be seeing a little bit more of him if he doesn't go out on loan. And, you know, he was bright. He was willing to get on the ball throughout. You know, Giroud putting the ball through here, um, cleared by the Everton defence. And as you can see, you know, us zooming in on the 55, Andrew, in, it was just fantastic. You know, takes the ball on. <laughs> lumps the ball well over the crossbar but as I alluded to earlier great to see his confidence the willingness to take it on and Barkley with a few little words probably just to say probably not the wisest thing to do um, but it's his first touch um, Gilmore coming through here lovely ball into Andrin unfortunately he just at the last ditch challenge by the Everton defender doesn't manage to get his, his shot away but again great movement Great little bit of play as well from Gilmore, who, you know, seemed to be everywhere, as I said. And again, Andrew on the ball here, drives, beats the defender, and then puts the ball in uh, with his right foot. But another debutant coming on as well, uh, Brozier coming on for Olivier Giroud, who was a menace for the Everton defence all game. And, you know, it's just a shame that Giroud wasn't able to play more of the season with Lampard, preferring Bashwai in the season. But, as I say, another debut, this time for Armando Brozier. He came on, um, got a few minutes, which was nice. You know, got onto the ball a few times and, and created some problems for the Everton defence. And as you can see, him zoomed in on here as well on his Premier League debut. Um, yeah, for, for Chelsea, a resounding victory, a very pleasing victory. You know, just before obviously football was suspended. Um, you know, played out from the back here, put out wide. He then manages to get to the ball first and draw the foul from the defender, which was, was very pleasing to watch. And from both those youngsters, it's certainly uh, both for the future. And, and when the whistle went for this game, 4-0 uh, to the Chelsea, it ends up. Lampard on the pitch celebrating, you know, cheering with the crowd. And a lot of the players staying on the pitch. Kepa there as well. Azpilicueta was on there for quite a while. Olivier Giroud. A, a very pleasing game for Lampard, for the Chelsea fans. A great match to attend. And you know, thank you for watching.